Campinas, with 1.2 million inhabitants, is the third largest city in Brazil's Sao Paulo state and the largest in the state's countryside. Thousands of people commute between Campinas and downtown Sao Paulo every day. There are nearly 570 bus routes making this trip daily. A smooth ride takes about an hour and a half, but conditions are rarely ideal. The challenge for me is the heavy traffic. We face traffic in the morning and at night, so we spend a lot of time in traffic. In a few years, there will be a new way for travelers to commute between Campinas and São Paulo. A new train that can reach speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour, the first of its kind in Brazil, making the trip between the Barra Funda station here in São Paulo and Campinas in just one hour. For a tender held in February, the Brazilian company Comporte and the Chinese firm CRRC formed a consortium and won the bid to build the new railway line. With an investment of almost $3 billion, they aim to have the train system fully operational by 2031. São Paulo's Secretary for Investment Partnerships hopes this will be the beginning of a new era for railway transport in the state. We are going to build a network in São Paulo of medium speed trains and hopefully in the future upgrade it to high speed. China has long been recognized as an important benchmark. The Chinese built a network of 40,000 kilometers of high speed trains in record time, so we are very much inspired by them. I think Brazil needed more trains. I think Brazil needs more trains. It's a cheap way to travel, very comfortable and very good. I would benefit a lot from it, so I'm very happy with the news. I hope it really happens because it's a project we've been hearing about for a long time. The new train line could also be a boon to Campinas Viracopos International Airport, the fourth largest in Brazil in terms of passenger numbers. Twelve million travelers passed through its gates last year, and it's also an important cargo hub moving about one-third of the products Brazil imports by air. Hope saw the new line will attract even more business. The airport has the potential to receive 25 million people per year. So, with 12 million, it's at half its growth potential. There's a major drive by Brazil's government and private investors to develop and modernize the country's railway system, which was left behind for decades. The new Campinas-São Paulo line is an important project toward that goal. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.